Justin Bieber has once again broken another record in the music industry. What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will discuss how Justin Bieber is now the most listened artist on Spotify. But before anything else, please leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of our future videos. And without any further ado, let's hop right on to it. Justin Bieber has broken streaming records again by becoming the most listened to artist on Spotify ever. In the previous years, Justin previously broke a record held by the Beatles for close to 51 years. His two songs Despacito and I'm the One held their place in the Billboard's chart for more than 13 weeks, which was the highest consecutive week tally. He is also the youngest solo musician at 27 to have eight number one albums on the Billboard 200, a record previously held by the king of rock and roll himself, Elvis Presley. Additionally, Bieber's music video for his chart-topping song Baby previously and infamously held the record for the most hated music video on the platform, which was then overtook by YouTube's Rewind 2018, Everyone Controls Rewind. Going back to Spotify, Bieber racked up 83.3 million listens over the last month, the first time such a number has been achieved by an artist in the same period. He was closely followed by The Weeknd, who hit 74.5 million monthly listeners, and then Ed Sheeran, who reached 72.4 million. The previous record was held by Ariana Grande at 82 million monthly listens. In a statement talking about his most recent album, Justice, Justin said, We're working hard to make this tour the best one yet. I'm excited to get out there and engage with my fans again. Whilst a note on his official website reads, The tour was to kick off this summer, but due to COVID-19 restrictions varying by state, the tour is being moved to 2022. The Justice World Tour 2022 presented by T-Mobile is adding 7 new arena shows to total 52 dates. Tickets for new shows go on sale later this month. All tickets will be honored for the rescheduled dates with refunds available at point of purchase. All previous ticket holders will receive an email from their ticket provider with event updates and options if they cannot make the 2022 date. A limited number of exclusive VIP packages are also available. These exceptional offers can include an amazing selection of reserved seated tickets, custom merchandise, and much more. Meanwhile, his wife Haley Baldwin has admitted in the past that she was glad to find out her husband's arena tour was cancelled because of the global health crisis, as it allowed him more time to be strong and healthy and prepared. She said, You know what? I honestly feel like with that whole thing, everything happens for a reason. And I'm almost happy that I feel like you have even more time to just be strong and healthy and prepare. And when the tour does come back around and when you go out, you're going to just be so strong and healthy and that makes me feel a little bit better. Bieber released Justice back in March, led by the singles Holy, Lonely, Anyone, Hold On, and Peaches. When writing a 4-star review on the album, Enemy called it Bieber's Redemption and is a more fitting follow-up to his highly rated 2015 album, Purpose. Armed with the newfound optimism born from a dark place, Will Levine wrote, he understands he's bettered when he's tapping into his own experiences projecting relatable human emotion and working out why he's here. He's singing about the things he cares about, his wife, his mental health, social injustice, and so much more besides. But for those of you who can't wait to see Justin in action, last August 20, Justin Bieber announced a three-day festival for Las Vegas this October, boasting a lineup of features including The Kid Laroi, Jaden Smith, and more. The event will take place between October 7 and 10, with the festivities split between the Win Las Vegas Excess Nightclub and Encore Beach Club. It'll kick off with an opening party at Excess on the first night, followed by a pool party on the second, and a skate park takeover and headline set from Bieber on the last day. It is described to be as a weekend experience about the things that Justin, as an individual, likes so it's the fans' chance to get personal with the Biebs. The first batch of artists announced for the Weekender, named Justin Bieber and Friends, 
includes David Guetta, Keilani, Troy Boy, and Eddie Benjamin. A press release notes that a second phase of Axe is set to be announced in the coming weeks, with the event also featuring a variety of special guests. Passes for the Weekender are now on sale through the tech startup Poland, where it's being organized. The passes are offered in three tiers, each of which includes a free night accommodation and event access for two punters priced between $1,099 and $1,399. So what do you think? Does Justin deserve to be the most listened to artist on Spotify? Which of his tracks do you listen to and most importantly, are you going to see him live soon? Let us know in the comments section below. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any of our future content. We're signing off for now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.